Okay, let's take a look at question number four here about how we can determine <clears throat> um, whether the z-score will be positive, negative, or zero given some data here. So the way you want to look at this question is we need to look at what the formula is for z-score first of all. So I'll just write it down here on the side. So z-score is equal to the data point minus mu, which is the mean, um, divided by sigma. So what this is going to tell us is that as long as the data point is larger than the average, the top value will be positive. Okay, so as long as, um, because when we subtract the two, we have uh, a positive number. So as long as if x is greater than mu, then we will have a positive z score. Okay. But if x is less than mu, meaning it's a smaller than, then the top of the, the numerator is going to be negative, and that's going to give us a negative z-score. Okay, so that's all what we're really looking at doing here is just seeing whether it's positive or negative. So let me, let's uh, look at a couple of questions here. It says the mean was 67, okay? And the standard deviation sigma is 6.3. Now, the standard deviation really doesn't matter because it's not going to affect the sign of the number. It's really just the top two values. So if we have a score of 68, so what we would really have here is 68 minus um, 67 divided by 6.3. That's how you calculate the z-score. So... <clears throat> The 68 minus 67 is going to be a positive number on top. So this means that we just we are going to know for the value of that equation that we are going to get a positive z-score. Okay? Because <clears throat> the sample number is greater than the given average. So if we look at the second question here, 66, we know 66 is less than the average, which is um, 67 so therefore that is going to give us a negative z-score okay and then the last question is if they're both equal to um, so I guess that would be the other case here is if if the sample is equal to the mean okay the z-score is just equal to zero okay that is your z-score value because the numerator becomes zero so this is um, 60 67 minus 67, right, divided by 6.3 for calculating our z-score. So that's going to give us a zero on the top, so that means our value is a zero score. So that means we're right at the mean of the distribution. Okay, so for this question, just um, all you're really looking at doing is you're just analyzing what the expression is for how to calculate z-score and determining whether you have a positive or negative value overall.